All right, well, at this point, what I'm going to be showing you is a couple of other adjustments. And in particular, we're going to be looking at threshold. So in order to begin with, if you've made your adjustments the way I did in terms of replacing the color in the last episode, we can just go to File Revert, and that'll bring us back to what the original image looked like. Well, in this case, I don't really care so much about color because what I want to attempt to work with is an adjustment that is called threshold. Now, let's take a look at threshold. It can be applied as a adjustment layer. So I can just come down here and show you that adjustment layer. And here it is, threshold. So if I were to click on threshold, let's take a look. It gives you this sort of black and white version, and it's really picking up all of the shadow areas in here. Why is this good? Well, first of all, let's see. If you've got a little warning icon here, just click on that. It's going to update your histogram, as you can see here. And what it's doing is, when we slide it in one direction, it's really adding or getting rid of the blacks. Remember, it's our histogram. This is black area here. This is white area there. You want to add more or get rid of the blacks, then you slide it this way. You get rid of the whites, you can slide it this way, as you can see, until we have very little whites. So this is all really useful whenever you want to create an effect that looks similar to the one that I happen to have right here. And this is something that, you know, anytime you're going for an illustrative look inside of your design or something that you can add as a background element a little bit later on working with your blend modes or something along those lines. It's a really wonderful way of adding those elements. And at this moment in time, we've just I've just shown you a little bit about how to convert this, but later on in some future exercises, I'll be showing you how we can apply a very nice threshold effect to something. We can also you know, select the area in black, we can make a stamp out of this, we can convert that into an illustration, especially if you're working with Illustrator and you can produce you know t-shirts you have your Che Guevara t-shirt or something along those lines and this is a really wonderful way that you can pick out those highlights and work with things like drawings and brushing with paints and stuff like that so it's really a useful application of an image adjustment and it can be a very permanent one that you apply down here through your threshold or even a temporary one using a simple adjustment layer